What is going on guys, Willis Gaming here, we are back again with another Daily Destiny video. So, in this video I thought I would show you guys a little neat trick, or I wouldn't really call it a glitch, more like a little trick, where you can actually get a bunch of XP from one of the Erish missions. Uh, obviously if you've done the whole Erish storyline, this won't work for you, that's the only bad side to it. But if you're like me and you've just made a new character, or you're new to Destiny and you want to get a bunch of XP ready for the Taken King, this is perfect for you. So if you guys go on to enjoy the video, make sure to drop a like. If this video reaches two likes in the next hour, I will backflip off the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> so it's pretty simple, like you don't have to do any of the story. All you need to do is if you've never been to Eris before, she will have a mission called the Fist of Krota. Simply go pick up this mission and that's all you need to do basically from here in the tower. Obviously you want to have two friends, I actually had two of my viewers hop in and help me. And uh, as you can see here, the mission is called the Fist of Crota. You get 4000 XP normally, but if you put it on max difficulty you get 7500. Uh, I've actually got the Nightfall buff as well, so this actually bumps it up to like 8000. And I've actually got a Red Bull XP boost. If you guys would like to get some Red Bull codes, make sure to follow me on Twitter. I'll be giving away 5 in the next hour after this video goes live. So link in the description for that, and that actually bumps up to like almost 10,000 XP from like a minute of this mission, which is insane. Like you'll see how far my actual defender tree levels up, because I'm not actually maxed out yet. But most people have already played this mission, it's really simple. You basically just have to go kill a Fist of Crota dude. Uh, simply just load up the mission, go in with your friends, and a very important step, which I literally almost forgot, make sure to dismantle the mission. That's the most important step. Dismantle the mission, not as you're flying in, when you land. Make sure you do it when you land, otherwise it will not work. I actually tried doing it while flying in, it did not work for me, and I did not get the XP. So for the first bit, you can just skip all the ads, and then you need to kill a sword guy. Once you've killed a sword guy, you can go straight to the end, you don't need to kill anything else. Go right to this room and I recommend everybody just gets a shotgun ready and that you just spam him with shotguns and the sword and you are done. There you go. Here is a before and after of my subclass tree. You can see I've got like a ton of XP and here's my crest of Alpha Loopy which I'm leveling up as well. Look at all that XP you get, it's insane. You can either wait the 30 seconds but as soon as you see the timer start you can basically just leave straight away. So don't worry about having to stay in the game. And yeah, from here all you need to do is go back to Eris and pick up the Fist of Crota mission again and simply keep repeating this over and over again. And it does work. I actually did a video on this ages ago but it was for another Eris mission. I didn't actually realise you could do it with the Fist of Crota mission. It's kind of silly. But this is going to be really helpful when the Taken King comes out if they don't remove it. Because I heard they were actually removing a bunch of Eris Year 1 missions. We'll have to see. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you found it helpful, feel free to drop it with a like. If you want to get yourself some Red Bull codes for some extra XP, go follow me on Twitter. I'll give away five in the next hour. So this has been Willis Gaming, guys. Make sure to subscribe for daily Destiny content, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.